Hello everyone, today I'm going to do unboxing, setup, and speed test of the Sabrin 2.5 inch SATA USB 3.0 enclosure. I purchased this on Amazon, I paid $12, and this was one of the, it had the most ratings and most good ratings. Now, Amazon ratings aren't all that, and lots of them are fake, but from, you know, from the reviews, I read a lot of reviews, most of them were positive, and most of them were real people. Now, let's go over the box first, then I'm going to open it and connect SSD to it. Now, it says it's Windows OS compatible, Mac OS com compatible, USB 3.0. It also works with the USB 2.0 and 1.0. And it's, uh, as I mentioned, it's 2.5 inch SATA and 2.5 inch SSD SATA. And it says features tool free design, easy to install, compatible with 2.5 inch SATA or SSD, supports, supports 7 millimeter or 9.5 millimeter thickness, plug and play, and optimized for SSD, UASB SATA 3 speeds. Um, so let's open it and see how it looks. There we go. Let's see what else is in the box. And yeah, I also mentioned it comes with the Acronis free true image cloning software, $30 value. So if you do end up using the cloning. Now, when most people buy this, it is to clone your SSD, I mean, your hard drive. For example, if you're installing SSD into your laptop or Mac, so this would be a perfect way to clone it. You have it connected, and then um, you transfer all your info to the new hard drive. Then you, you take that hard drive out of the box and you install it into your laptop or Mac or computer. Now, there's a lot of um, there's different way doing it. You can buy a SATA cable, which would be SATA, um, SATA plug that connects to the hard drive or SSD, and then you would connect it to your USB 3.0 or 2.0. But honestly, those seem even uh, more expensive than this. So honestly, I recommend this because you get more use out of this for sure instead of just the cable. Um, this is the menu. Now it tells you how it works. So you have LED indicator, you have power switch and USB 3.0 interface. And it's telling you how to lift, push. Seems pretty easy. So we're gonna do that next. And uh, it says Sabrin has you covered. Extend your warranty up to two years. If you wanna pay, I guess, extra. And that's it, nothing else in the box. So let's see the enclosure. And let me just open up the cable while we're at it. We got, uh, looks like two feet, two feet cable, USB 3.0 type A to USB 3.0 type A. Seems very, very light. So we got the power switch, we got USB 3.0 and that's it. It looks like this would be the light to show you when it's working. On the back, you have some model number. If you guys wanna see that. I'm gonna post a link in the description for the one I bought. They have a couple different versions of this. So next, let's open up this SSD. And we're gonna connect those two. Now I purchased this one because it was the cheapest one I could find and it had the best speeds for the price. It's 256 gigabytes by a data. And it has the speeds of 150 megabytes, right? Read up to 550 megabytes and write up to 520 uh, megabytes. Now, Honestly, I don't think this will get me those speeds at all. I'm expecting around 300, which will still be better than what I'm getting with my original hard drive, which is about 90 to 100 megabytes per second. So inside here, we didn't get anything, just the hard drive. So it's pretty light. Now let's, uh, let's open this thing. Let's see. There we go. You just gotta push it once this way. 
And now make sure you align this. It's pretty straightforward. There we go. Make sure it's all aligned. And there we go. Very simple. All right, so now we're gonna plug it in. And what we're going to do, I'm going to set it next to my iMac. I'm going to plug it in and then I'll be back and I'll show you guys the speeds and I'll show you guys on the big screen once I actually turn it on, which, what a message you can expect. All right, so I just turned it on. Now we're just going to wait. It says that this queue attached was not readable by the computer. So what we're going to do is we're going to do initialize. Now we have disk utility, which will open. So here we are, we have my old one and now we have the new one. What we're gonna do on this one is we're gonna do erase. And now I'm just gonna name it SSD. So you're gonna do Mac OS extend and journaled. All right, so we got operation successful. Now we, that we got that complete, what we're gonna do next is one, we're gonna check the speed and we're gonna launch our disk speed test and what we're going to do is we're going to do oh it's right here select target drive and we're going to do a ssd open and now let's check what speeds we're getting i'm getting 380 370 So it is a lot faster. It's about four times faster than my, my old one. Now, if I would put this SSD, SSD directly into my Mac, it would be it would give me speeds probably over 500. Now, this is the speeds you can expect with the enclosure. If you connect this hard drive directly inside the your MacBook or laptop, you should get better speeds. But since you're running it externally and from the USB 3.0, you should expect about about 20% de decrease in in the speed you can accomplish installing it directly. I'm still satisfied. I'm just gonna keep it and run run it off the external. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.